Good morning. I'm Kevin O'Hara for Habits V2. Uh, <laughs> the little horsey there. Um, I've been coaching, stopping drinking alcohol for over a decade. Uh, today, I'm going to give you six small steps that you can take for yourself when you're starting out on this journey. All right, number one, keep it simple. You know, this rule should really be applied to just your life in general. Um, you know, complexity is going to add uh, complication. Complication adds complexity. And it's just one of those vicious circles. And I think the problem is that some people seek for the complicated because they then have an excuse for failure. You know, they have an excuse for giving in down the road, uh, maybe subconsciously. So there's five simple rules that I give you. Keep the alcohol out of your mouth is the first one. If you don't put it in, it's not going to get there. Uh, number two is only you can put it into your mouth. Nobody else is going to do it. Number three is stopping drinking is not the same as staying stopped. You have to treat them. One is a decision. The other one is a process. Number four, stop the flow, do the work, move on. Nobody is going to do the work for you. And number five, discomfort is part of the process. All right. The next tip I'm going to give you is... Um, replace the ritual not just the alcohol you know it's not just the alcohol that you have to get rid of it's the habits the routines the programming the rituals and then you say well i thought you said to keep it simple the only way to get rid of a habit you don't want is not to do it so you have to swap out those drinking moments with new habits instead of unwinding with a drink go for a walk hit the gym read a book you know build new habits routines that actually recharge you that give you something of value new rituals that are going to help you in your life. Our next tip is a practical one, and that's to pour the alcohol down the toilet where it belongs, right? If it's in your house, it's going to be in your mind. So get rid of the alcohol. You know, don't just hide it away. You know, what you do with the alcohol says a lot about what you intend later. You know, it says a lot about your mindset, about your, um, your commitment to this journey. You know, what are you keeping it for? That's one of the biggest questions that you should be asking yourself. Oh, and by the way, don't give it away. What does that say about you? You're not going to poison yourself, but you're quite willing to hand it over to somebody else so that they can poison themselves. You know, down the dunny is the absolute best place for this stuff. The next one is to own your own choice. No explanations are needed. You know, if your friends or your family, if they're going to question why you're quitting, you don't owe them any explanations whatsoever stay true to what's right for you without having to justify or defend anything you know those people that are closest to you tell those you know everyone else can just bugger off the alcohol can't influence you in any way whatsoever it's just a liquid in a bottle you know the biggest influence is always going to come from the people that are around you and those closest to you are the most likely to try and influence you. And influence is the key word here. They can only try to influence you, but at the end of the day, the decision is always yours. You know, you're always one decision away from a completely and totally different life. Now, before we go on, uh, you can get our preparation module if you haven't stopped drinking it yet and you want a bit of a help. Um, this is from our main program, but you can get it for free by clicking on the link down below in the description, or you can click up here. Uh, I think there's going to be a link left there. Um, this preparation program will really give you the mindsets and the tools that you need to start out strong on this journey. The next tip is to start with one day, then go to the next day. You know, don't worry about a lifetime without alcohol, right? Just focus on today. Too many people say, well, yeah, stopping drinking alcohol forever is just such a scary thing to think about. And it is, right? Why would you think about it like that, though? Right? You breathe one breath at a time. You take one meal at a time. You take one shower at a time, right? You know, if you start thinking about those things, oh, I have to shower every day for the rest of my life, then where would you be? You know, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. You can only take one step at a time and then the next step. You can't take the first step and then the 100th step. That just isn't possible, right? So take it one day at a time and then let each day build on the last. The preparation module is going to really help you to get into the proper mindset for this journey. Now you'll get to the stage in this journey where you've got the hang of living without this poison in your life anymore, um, where you're really going to start believing that, yeah, do you know what? 
I can really see myself never drinking again because you've put distance now between yourself and the old alcohol habits. You've built um, kind of a new identity for yourself after, you know, normally around five, six months time this happens. So don't worry about it. Next one is put energy into actions and not excuses. All right, thinking about stopping alcohol is really easy. You know, taking the action to to do it, you know, and to stay stopped uh, isn't, right? There's a lot of stuff that you have to do within that journey. You know, I don't know how many times that I went through a, a binge drinking session and then the next day I'd get up with a hangover and I'd say to myself, never again, that's it, I'm stopping. Uh, and I never followed through with that. You know, I actually followed through with it when I made another decision in my life to become the best father that I could be. Then I made the decision to stop drinking alcohol. But any time I said to myself, oh, I'm just going to stop drinking alcohol now because it's not doing me any good. That never worked. You have to stop the flow, do the work, move on. And doing the work is not focusing on the alcohol. What you focus is what you get in life. You know, doing the work is focusing your time and your energy into something meaningful, getting busy with your goals. And you know, once you do that, once you're focusing your, your entire self on the things that you want, the positive um, outcomes that you want, the consistent outcomes that you want, you're leaving no room for alcohol. So remember that you will never ever regret the drink that you didn't have yesterday right you'll never regret the drink that you didn't have yesterday so i'll leave it there for today take care of yourself don't forget to click on the link for the preparation module it's absolutely free the links below this video always an opportunity keep the alcohol out of your mouth bye now